Welcome back, family, to Northside LDN. And today, today, we've got Arsenal's very own Voldemort coming out with Martinelli is the love of my life. Wow, these guys, bro, these fruity rainbow guys. Martinelli is the love of my life, and Arsenal didn't bottle it. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into the excuses. Vamos, but Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button. Less ready, steady, cook. Big chance in that first half, and he didn't put it away. Mm. He, he, he had that chance. The, the who are you referring to exactly? I mean, it's, it's Martinelli, who's the love of my life. Apart from, of course, the girl I live with. I was, I was just about to say. Yeah. yeah. You loved him for longer. What, what, what's, what, what's going on here? What is going on with this Bucaria, bro? What are you talking about? You love the player. Love the player for what, bro? Love the player for what? This is what I'm saying. There are more fans of players than fans of the club. Did he turn up today? Did that Philo da Puta turn up yesterday? No, he didn't. Did he perform? Has he been scoring? Has he been pivotal to the way that we're playing? No, he didn't. He dropped a stinker like the rest of the players. But, oh, I love him. Oh, I, I love him so much. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, bro? I swear down this oompa loompa Philo da Puta. That... Lee looked at Raya, but yeah, where, yeah, what, yeah, whose yes. fault was it? All right, do you have to attribute blame for a goal? No, does, you does don't. It, yeah, does it always have to be a mistake? Because that's one thing... I wouldn't say I got annoyed about, but I could hear everyone around me and at the end of the game, people are always looking to blame. Mm. Everything's to blame. They're not looking at a good goal that buying because we're not buying fans. What are you talking about blame? Of course there is to blame. If, a, if the opposition score is because you've made a mistake. So that means somebody's made a mistake who is to blame. What are you chatting about? Gabriel's marking his man for the double that and then Saliba is their ghost flipping marking the ghost of Wenger. What are you chatting about, bro? What are you chatting about? Who? Why are we always looking for someone to blame? We're looking for someone to blame because it's an important game. What do you mean it's a great goal? They were doing nothing. They were stinking it out. Harry Kane was stinking it out. They weren't playing amazing, but they defended well. What are you chatting about? Of course there is someone to blame, bro. Just like the two flipping goals that we allowed and we gifted them in the first leg. And this field of that's coming out with what? What are you chatting about now? Looking at the flipping dad from Despicable Me, you feel that puta. What are you chatting about? What are you actually talking about, bro? About who's to blame? Done with this guy, bro. Looking like mini me from Austin Powers. We went to watch Arsenal win. Yeah. That's all. All right, there's this word bottling it. Yeah. Now, if you lose, one team had to lose tonight. I mean, the last time we came here, we got we got absolutely spanked. Yeah. It was two high quality teams mm. playing in the quarter final of the Champions League. Now, when you say bottling it, it means that one team just didn't play. Now, that was a very, very tight game. Bayern deserved. We did bottle it. We did bottle it. And I know it triggers you, Filus da puta, and nunca se ved numa merda. We did bottle it. We're going up against a Bayern team that was nothing in comparison to the Bayern team that smashed us 8-2 or whatever it was. Of course, it's bottling it. It's bottling it when you man are telling me that all the players are world-class. When you're saying that their manager's dead anyway, you don't rate Thomas Tuchel, even though he won a Champions League with Chelsea. You, Filus da puta, would rather gas up a manager that's never won anything and then talk crap about a manager that's actually got them over the line. So it is bottling it. It's bottling it when you're telling me that we've got a better manager, when you're telling me we've got world-class players, when you're telling me that we're going to stick it on Harry Kane, pause no diddy, yeah? It is bottling it. I know it hurts your little feelings. I don't care, you little filo da puta. Maybe go and change your flipping pad, yeah? Maybe it's your time of the year. Maybe get the morning after pill and get yourself a new tampon, you filo da puta, yeah? Next time you go into the armory, see if they've got any Arsenal. Maybe they've got some Martinelli tampons. You know what I mean? You can pleasure yourself like that, you filo da puta. Talking about we didn't bottle it. Of course we bottled it. We talking about. Oh, Martinelli's the love of my life. We didn't bottle it. Go get yourself a Martinelli tampon, you feel that puta. Done with this guy. ...to win that game by one goal. I thought, again, let's put this into perspective. We have gone out of the Champions League at the quarter-final stage. Now, I'm not angry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Everyone around me that I've seen yeah. doesn't seem too overly angry. No, I'm... Of course you lot don't seem overly angry. AFTV is not about winning. It's not about making this club a great club. Of course you feel that puta ain't angry, bro. Of course you're not. Of course you're not angry. Because you guys don't care about winning. All you care about is making money off the fan base, spewing absolute porcaria. Of course Sonic Cecil ain't angry, bro. Sonic Cecil's running around, bro. Man's still going to be going there. Man's still going to be going to flipping Dubai with the players. Man's still going to be in the training kit. Man's still going to be in the press conference saying, Oh, Mikel, where do you think it went wrong? Where do you think it went wrong, you filo da puta? 
It went wrong the day that we signed this field up. What are you chatting about? You know what I'm saying? Of course you man don't think it went wrong. Of course you're not. Of course you're not. Because your model is about making money, yeah? Lowering the standards of this club to not win anything. Not demand to win anything. Of course you're not happy. Why would you not be angry for? Oh, everybody around me, it's not, it's not happening. Of course, because you've got people like this Filo da puta, Julian, telling me that he needs flipping Martinelli tampons, yeah? Going on about how much he loves the players and Ty running around, shouting invincibles, invincibles, invincibles for flipping 30, 40 years, the Filo da puta. What are you talking about? Of course you man ain't angry, bro. Of course you're not angry because you don't care about this club winning. You just care about lining your pockets. The other side of it is I want to appreciate where we are mm. and what we've achieved. And we have competed mm -hmm. and we haven't embarrassed ourselves. We haven't bottled it. We haven't played so badly that you, you can really criticise. You can think about teams that and supporters. What we've achieved. Philadelphia, what have we achieved, bro? What have we achieved? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, yeah? Next time, instead of flipping spending money to get flipping Manscaped and using it on that bald head of yours, yeah? Why don't you actually invest some money to actually do some research into the history of this football club and where we're coming from and that we're the third biggest club in England? How about that, you filo da puta? You Manscaped flipping twerking mascot filo da puta. I'm sick and tired of this crap, bro. Sick and tired of this crap. Oh, look at what we've achieved. We ain't achieved nothing, you filo da puta. We ain't achieved nothing. What did you man say when Tottenham got to the Champions League final, didn't win? Oh, but what did you win, Tottenham? What did you win? When Tottenham finished second, what did you win? That's what you guys always say to the rivals. But when it's Arsenal, look how far, look how much we've achieved. Look how much we, we ain't achieved nothing, so filo da puta. Para de falar merda, pa. Pechico so stupido, okay? These men try and talk, bro, you will not gaslight me. There is no achievement in football other than winning trophies. That is the metric of success. That is what is deemed as success. That is what's deemed as success. What are you going to do? What are you going to do today? What are you going to do after Arsenal got eliminated in the Champions League? Oh, you know what? Mikel Arteta, phase four, we're going to put a laminated sheet. We pushed on. We competed against Bayern. We didn't win it, yeah? Just a laminated sheet. Knocked out in the quarterfinals. Is that what we're going to put in the cabinet? Is that what we're going to put in the trophy cabinet? Feel that book. That talking absolute rubbish that aren't as happy as we are. You can look at, who's bottom of the second, um, second division? Forest Green could be going out of the league. You can look at Notts County, who were the only team that's never played in the Premier League, but actually was one of the founding teams that voted for it. And if you really want to get depressed, you could be a Tottenham fan and have never won the league since 61. I mean, I've, I'm 52 years old and I haven't even seen it. So put it Oh, okay. So when you're talking about depressed, Tottenham not winning anything for 50 years, not winning the league for 50 odd years, that's depressing. But we can't be depressed that we ain't won the league for 20 years. Make that crap make sense. So your metric to say that another fan base is depressed is because they don't win major honours. But when you're an Arsenal fan, you should be optimistic and you should be going on board that Arsenal for another year, 20 years now, have not won a major honour. For Tottenham, it must be depressing. You ain't won a major honour in 50 years. But Arsenal, 20 years not winning a major honour. <sighs> I'm, look, I'm looking around, yeah? No, but nobody's depressed. Nobody's depressed. This guy's just doing Kylie Minogue, filo da puta, you do absolute twerker for Robbie Saucy Santana. I'm spinning around, move out of my way. We're not depressed because we put the pressure on you, filo da puta. Talking rubbish. Talking rubbish. Why are you telling me about flipping Notts County? Where in the hell is Arsenal on the same level as Notts County, bro? Why are you talking to me about a club is nowhere near the size of Arsenal, bro? Oh, if you really want to be the... And then you want to bring up Tottenham. What did I tell you about these fun ladies, bro? When it's Tottenham, they don't win anything. When it's Arsenal, oh, we don't win anything, but it's a process. It's a process. Well, maybe Tottenham's on a process. Maybe they started their process earlier than us and they're on a process. How about that? What if they said that? Oh, you guys are losers. Oh, this is what Spursy. We are the Spursy, bro. We are the Spursy of Europe, you absolute clown. Yeah? We are the Spursy of Europe. Sick and tired of this guy, bro. Sick and tired of this guy. I'm telling you. Done with this clown, bro. Put it into perspective. This was a great night. It was a great experience. It's what we go to football for. Now, I go to football, yeah, to win trophies. That's what I go to football, to win. To win Filo da Puta. When I went Power League, yeah, with the boys, yeah, 
We won the league, bro. We won the league. We was a newly formed team in the first season, Power League in Wembley. We won it, bro. We won it. And some of the players that played for my Power League team, yeah, were phase four players. They're young players, yeah? They were young. Most of our team wasn't of the same age. The rest of us were like 22, 23. We had players that were 15, 16. We still won the flipping league, though. And that's a worthless flipping league. It's flipping power league, you filu da puta. What are you talking about? It's a great experience. Stop chatting rubbish, bro. Stop chatting rubbish. But anyway, there's another guy. There's another guy that's been talking a lot of rubbish. Talking a lot of rubbish, yeah? Don't agree with his football takes. And this is exactly why. Igal, you've been talking a lot of pukaria. You're calling out the fans, yeah? Let's go a bit, a little bit down memory lane when we drew Bayern Munich. Let's see Igal's reaction when we drew Bayern Munich. Then we'll get into the rest of what he's got to say. Bring me Bayern! Bring me Bayern! Bring me Bayern Munich! Let's go! We need that revenge for 8 2 uh, for 10 2. Bring me, bring me Bayern Munich! Let's fucking go! Bayern Munich and Arsenal. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Bring me Bayern. We need this. Harry Kane, we're going to dunk on your head top. Kimmich, we're going to dunk on your head top. All you Bayern Munich fans from back in the day, we're going to dunk on your head top. No fans in the second leg. Let's go. I'm so happy. Well, that went well. That went well, didn't it? That went well, Dobby from Harry Potter. That went well, yeah? That went well, you filu da puta, trying to call out other fans. Trying to call out other fans about we got weak mentality, yeah? Cool. Stick to your team, stick to your manager, bro. Stick to your team, stick to your manager. He's talking about it. And the thing is, there's this subconscious thing where people have in their mind that they just don't believe or they have doubts in their mind. Subconsciously, they just... They have those doubts. So the moment they face a little bit of adversity, they throw their they throw their toys at the prem. I'm not doing that. These players are not doing that. The manager's not doing that. And uh, I think the players have already done that. This was just before the buying game, calling out calling out people. What was your match reaction, Nigal? Oh, you were annoyed. Your head was hot. Oh, okay. Yesterday coming on the live. Oh, you know what? Maybe I exaggerated my opinion. It's all on Lee's channel. I exaggerated on my opinion. Maybe I overgassed it. What are you talking about? We've seen that these flipping players, yeah, are bottlers, yeah? And you can sit there doing the whole Dobby thing, giving flipping Mikel Arteta your sock. Dobby is yours, Mr. Arteta. Mr. Arteta, here you go. Here you go. Do you want the sock? Dobby is yours. Dobby is yours, you feel that puta talking rubbish, bro. And you dare to call out fans that actually have been there, done it. Bro, I've seen this club be great, bro. I've been this, but you want to do the Dobby thing with Arteta. Please, please, Mr. Arteta, please. Here's the sock. Here's the sock, you filled that puta. Don't ever question me as an Arsenal fan, bro. Don't ever question me as an Arsenal fan, bro. And you did it on one of the lives, yeah? Don't ever question me, bro. I say the real and I speak truth, yeah? I don't be spewing rubbish because it hurts people's feelings, bro. Don't ever, ever in your life Try and do that again. You know what I'm saying? Because you know full well I'm right. And you don't want to admit it. Because you made a following off of top gooners, yeah, that are 15 years old, 18 years old, that are just going on job seekers. They don't know the reality of life, yeah? And these men are drinking Capri Sun, waiting for the bus at the bus stop. These men ain't even experienced life. So don't even try coming for me. You know what I'm saying? We continue. You have to show it with their performances going forward. And if you guys want to crown these guys bottle jobs, then crown them bottle jobs. I don't give a fuck. The reality of the situation is, if they don't win, you the don't league, care. You don't they, care, do they? The reality of the situation is, if they don't win the league this year, it's another learning curve. For what the next a joke! Year. What this is and what a learning curve. It's another learning curve. No, 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 Dobby. No, 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 no. You said at the start of the season, this team has to win a major honor. Now you're talking about learning curve. Now you're talking about improvements. No, we're not hearing none of that. You said this team, you deemed this team and this manager good enough to get us over the line. If they don't do that, they've not achieved what you thought they should be achieving. So it's called failure. Stop twerking for 15-year-old little boys that don't even know who you are, bro.
They don't even vote. These men are irrelevant. What are you talking about? Nah, bruv. Learning curve, you know. Learning curve. I said your opinion. Alhamdulillah. You don't accept anything. Another learning curve. curve. It's a yeah. learning curve every year. It's been a learning curve for 20 years. Guess what? How long do you not want to learn for? <clears throat> Guess, you are the only family listen, that would accept listen, failure. Listen, you come here, listen, you talk big, but come here, you're the same. I, I honestly, you're ready, you understand something? Believing. If you, you want to call it accepting failure, you don't I call believe it believe learning it. lessons. You, you don't believe oh, it. That was a Freudian slip. You, don't believe you call it learning lessons. Learning lessons. Okay, cool. So... Did, how come, if Mikel Arteta is so good at learning lessons, how come he ain't got a proper striker? How come he ain't got a proper bench? Yeah? Learning lessons. Okay. How come this, this manager doesn't know that Jesus isn't a clinical goal scorer? How come this manager didn't know that um, Saka always burns out to the end of the season? How come this manager didn't know that when you're spending dumb money on players like Lekonga Nuntavaj, we're on a self-sustaining model and we're always bound to hit FFP? Yeah? How come he didn't know that if it's a learning curve? How come he didn't know that? How come he didn't know that? You're, you're talking to me about learning curve. Learning curve. Listen, Nigel, yeah? I'm sick and tired of the bull, bull crap. Stop standing online looking like Dobby from Harry Potter talking rubbish. Talk what is going to put your club in a better position. Stop doing Dobby. Stop doing Harry Potter. I'm sick and tired of you talking rubbish and not saying it as it is. Stop talking about learning curve. You man told me it takes four years. It took clock four years. What happened to that? What happened to that? Believe in them. I'm what? You, go, you don't believe in them. Fact. You come. Do I know? Excuse me. Excuse yeah, me. Hamza. Hamza. You don't Hamza. You don't Hamza. 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 You'll accept it. Hamza, don't lie to the you don't people. I don't, wait, I'm just going from second to second on the learning curve. What, was the what did you How learn? You say learning curve? <laughs> How does finishing the same place? Like when Hassan finished second, he won the league the year after. In dominant fashion, Hassan that's a learning curve. Hassan, if you don't win this, what is the ELC, bro? Hassan, well, a curve, a curve league, is when you go up or when you go down. Hassan. It's not a straight line. That's not a curve. I'm not, this right now, you're a curve, in a straight bro. line. Facts, facts. A curve doesn't go in a straight line. It goes up or goes down. It's called a curve. Yeah, a man talking about oh learning. A guy talking about oh learning curve and what are you talking about? It's called stagnation. If you put your car in neutral. You're not going anywhere. You're stagnant. You're still. You're not doing anything. Finishing second and second is stagnation. What are we talking about here? I can sub this up, Bukaria, man. Talking rubbish, bro. Sam, Even if, you know, listen, if you still believe it, then how is losing it I, a learning I, curve? One again. Second, one second. I said what I had to say. Talking absolute rubbish. Let's get to the next. Dunk on Arsenal. The reality situation is no, I don't want to none, of guys, none of you guys, none of you guys, none of you guys, none of you guys are equipped to actually have the balls to go up against this Man City's team this season. This Arsenal team have to do the unthinkable. One second, and, one second, and, one second, and one second, it is not... It's not doing the unthinkable. Conte did it. He won a league while Pep was here. Klopp's done it. He won a league while Pep's here. What are you talking about unthinkable? Yeah? What are you talking about the unthinkable, bro? The unthinkable. When Chelsea won the Champions League with Thomas Tuchel, yeah? With a team that Lampard said wasn't good enough, ain't ready, they're too young. Did they say, oh, Thomas Tuchel, you won a Champions League with a bunch of kids. You did the unthinkable. No, you didn't. No, they didn't. You feel that puta. Stop talking rubbish. Stop talking rubbish about unthinkable, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about unthinkable? Man looks like he's out of the undateables. What are you talking about unthinkable? Man looking like undateables, bro. Not, it is not over yet. When it's fucking over, yeah, come but, back to me. No, but, but call me a bottle job. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We are going to come back to you and call you a bottle job because you're accepting this crap. There's always hiccups in the road. The reality situation is Arsenal play two games before City play their next one. So we automatically can go for And us the same. Our hiccups always cost us the league. Our hiccups always cost us the league. What are you talking about? There's always hiccups in the road. Stop the hiccups then. That's what the manager's there for, to get us over the line. But the fella I do man. For this. It's a guy, you man. Semper falala toa. What are you talking about? There's always hiccups in the road. You're the manager there to avoid that crap. What are you talking about? Always hiccups in the road. What are you talking about? Get players that stop these flipping hiccups. For this. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to apply pressure no matter what. It's on them to continue to win. Okay, again. Can I just say this? Hussam, I hear your point. And I hear the fact that everything about City's history and all that stuff. 
but I'm not going to give them the goddamn chance to have that mental superiority over us. They, their fans can do that. Their players can do that. But we cannot give up. If we give up, it's already done. This is the difference. The issue we have in this league is the moment Man City have a little edge over you, people just throw in the towel. Be content. People throw in the towel because the things that are concerns are never addressed. Bench, striker, a plan B when things go wrong, i.e. the game against Porto, the game against Aston Villa, the game against Bayern, the game against Fulham. Yeah, that is the reason why people, we you talking about our oh, people put, shut up, man. You got one type of, you got one type of standard towards the fan base, but you got another one. When is the fans? Oh, you guys are toxic. When is the players? Ah, oh, give them a chance, get behind them. How come you never put any accountability on the player and the managers? The only accountability you put on is on fans, bro, which the fans should be held accountable. But you need to be held accountable as well for telling us that this season we have to win a major honour and now you're flip-flopping. What are you talking about? With second. Yeah. No, I'll be, I'll be content with improvement. Ah, no, 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 no. If we get, if so we get what? So is improvement first place or a trophy at You're, the end of the season? Improvement, improvement is quarterfinals of the Champions League and oh getting to the God. final game with Man City. Oh my! So improvement is not winning a major honor. Let me tell you this: this is how yeah your argument is going is, is is flawed. You're saying you're happy with improvement, getting to the quarterfinal and getting till the last day of the season. Yeah, trying to win the league. So why did you say at the start of the season, yeah, Mikel Arteta has to win a major honour? Surely that, by you saying that, that's the improvement that you wanted to see. That is the improvement that you said you wanted to see. You set the bar as to what you want, the, the level of improvement you want to see this season, which is win a major honour. But now you're flip-flopping. But now you're going back on that. Oh, the improvement is... Uh, getting to, uh, uh, putting the pressure on until the last that's not what you said at the start of the season which means you're moving the goalpost you said win a major honour your words so don't come now and say oh if we get up there and if we just you know we put the pressure on in Champions League you didn't say that at the start of the season which means you're flip flopping you're flip flopping because you knew you are wrong and now you're moving it yeah to not say you know what I was wrong my prediction was wrong this manager has failed based on your prediction of the improvement that you wanted from last season finishing second to being champions this season. These men chat rubbish, bro. These men chat rubbish, but I bet you any money, yeah? This is the same type of person, and I said this to him yesterday when we was on with Lee, the same type of fan, yeah, that when they asked me, Northside, what would it take for you to believe in Arteta? I've always said, when we made your honour, I'm Arteta in. Win me, Champions League or Premier League, I'm Arteta in. Yeah? I said to him, if I say that to you, and then Arteta wins, I said, to, if I said to you, if Arteta wins the, uh, the Premier League, yeah, I'm Arteta in. If Arteta then wins the Premier League, yeah, and you say, Northside, what are you saying now? If I didn't say to you, oh, no, 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 no. But if he wins the Champions League, you'll be saying I'm moving the goalpost. You would say to me, you said, Northside, if he wins the Premier League, you're Arteta in. So by the same standard, we're going to hold you to your words. The same way you would hold me to my words. Yeah? So that is it. Don't now try and move the goalposts about, oh, if we see an upwards trajectory and all that. Bro, I don't care. This ain't a pie chart. This ain't science class. This ain't none of that, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You're not the executive at Apple. I don't care, bro. You said win a major honour. He's not going to win a major honour this season. So by that definition, he should be sacked. That, this field of the should be sacked, bro. Let's continue. Let's continue. My God. So you you, you're going to take that and just be like... Oh, using that logic, I should wait for 20 years. Hamza, After 20 Hamza, years, Hamza, you, you had to have your to Aguero moment to, to, for your team to be good again, to be to that level. You we don't need have our a, moment. Well, you, have you need our moment, moment to get over that you have home. moment. That's what you... I have Aguero moments, yes. But you got Saka Lim moments. Man said we need to have our Aguero moment. How are we going to have an Aguero moment when we've got three strikers that are not goal scorers? They had to have a proper goal scorer to have that moment. That doesn't make any sense. How are they going to have an Aguero? Do you think Aguero, when Man City won the league against, against QPR, yeah, in that final game, do you think Havard scores that? Pressure game. Knowing that Man United are there neck and neck. No, they wouldn't. We bottle it before we even get to the final game. We didn't push it to the final game last season. And we haven't pushed it to the final game this season. You feel that with that. So what are you chatting about?
What are you chatting about, bro? Aguero moment, what, with Havertz? What, with Inkea? What, with Jesus? Did you see his miss yet last night? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. No, that's, that's, that, that's just stupid. No, no, but the biggest failure is... To, to me, if you win anything next year, you don't win anything this year, would you be our ten out, by the way? Bro, next year's next nah, year. No, if they make the semis one year I in am, the final, I am, I am not giving up on this manager and this team. I believe they will st- they will be here and we'll be here for a long time. You guys keep keep doubting. Okay. <laughs> you could get you just a bride. We- really, really, really. But then we lost the game yesterday and your head was gone. Oh, don't worry, I'm getting the clips. I'm getting the clips of that one. I didn't have enough time today, but trust me, I've got time. I've got time for you, Marikas that matter of you, Palyasush. I have time. Yeah? Because your head, you weren't believing in backing the boys when we got eliminated after buying, bro. Don't worry. You carry on. We know about, uh, one second. I'm Our window of opportunity best. does not end this season. Simply put. A window can always close. Never forget that. A window will always close. Hassan didn't I, think Klopp I don't was going to leave after this year. He thought his window was open for a long time. I don't, I, one but second. guess what? Klopp shut it down. Uh, one guess second. what? Klopp shut it down. One second. I don't see this team, the age of the team, how the squad is currently constructed and the manager all falling apart. You guys need to stop lying to yourselves and stop putting these fallacies that everyone else is going to somehow catch up to Arsenal and Arsenal is going to be fourth next. Really? You don't believe that this team's going to fall apart when we fell apart yesterday? So how about that? Yeah? Your prediction literally lasted a day. A day, if that. Yeah? Probably about 12 hours. We capitulated yesterday. Just like we capitulated against Aston Villa. But okay. Okay. All right then. Year. Bro, that's what I keep hearing. Is, every this year. is football. You can never guarantee anything in football. That is, that is the one thing. Sport. One thing I can get with guys. Win. The reality situation is this team has never actually addressed the attack properly. If we don't address the attack this summer, then we can have serious conversations. Uh, but why? Hold on. We did address the, the attack. Yeah, we did address the attack. We got Jesus. He flopped. This manager resigned Eddie and Ketia. He flopped. Yeah, we got Kai Havertz. He flopped. So the attack has been addressed. It's just the players that this fiddle that put that you keep backing, yeah? The players ain't been good enough that he's been recruiting. How about that? But then you came up with the excuse of, oh, no, can't have us. Look at what he does off the ball. Oh, oh, look at Jesus. Look at what he does off the ball. But the fella that thought, but the fella pukaria, but. Don't even try and lie, bro. The only, po- the only bit of the attack that hasn't been addressed is the right-hand side, bro. Don't even try it, bro. Talking pukaria, bro. It's the guy you. So why did we... What are we chatting about? We ain't addressed the attack. And if we haven't addressed the attack enough, yeah? If we haven't addressed the attack enough, yeah? That's under the manager that you're claiming is learning. Learning! It's taking you four years to identify a striker that can actually score goals. It's taking him four years to realise that Saka needs rotation. It's taking him four years. It's taking him four years to address getting a proper left-back that can actually defend on the left-hand side. Really? It's taken him four years to realise that we need another centre-back because if one of our centre-backs get injured or are out of form, we have to play them regardless because everybody else is levels below them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's taken him four years to realise that we need a number 10 to compete with Odegaard. Shut up, man. Ban the fella the door, bro. I'm telling you, this Dobby filled up. Chat rubbish, bro. We having conversations before the season ended. The transfer window is not open. No, the transfer no, window is not even open. Stop jumping the gun. The season's That's not part of the channel. The discussion. season's. This guy's just a waffler. Absolute waffler, bro. Absolute waffler. El topura aquí with this pucaria. I will be getting into the comments, but we we still got we still got a few more clips to get through. I'm done with this crap, bro. Let's go. Of the Champions League, congratulations Bayern Munich, um, deserved to win the game. The second half from us, as it was on Sunday, was just not good enough. Uh, what, what are we doing? I, I think, we, look, fine, you're exhausted, right? If you can't muster up the energy to even create a chance in the final 10 minutes of that tie, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Bayern Munich, I thought... You had a lot to say when you were getting all rattled about anybody questioning this club. Now you have nothing to say. Listen to me, you flipping B-Tech, Piers Morgan, filled up puta, yeah? You ain't that guy. You've been twerking and shaking your bum. Yeah, going on TikTok, you ain't got the balls to say it on my face when I'm live with you, so filled up puta, with that dead-ass quiff, yeah? Looking like a flipping, a British fried, fried English full breakfast version of Ricky Glaze's Ricky Martin, you filled up puta, yeah? 
You didn't want to listen to anything that anybody had to say about this team. Yeah, you were backing it. So back it now, you feel that book that back it now, you absolute Liberian feel that merda. Well, they tactically they set up, they nullified our right hand side, absolutely nullified the right hand side, which is where so much of our play goes through, and we did nothing to change it. At no point did we try something different. At no point did we try and overload the left hand side instead. Um, it was stagnant. Uh, and, and, you know, Bayern Munich deserved to win. They created more chances than us. Eventually, one of them went in. Really well taken by Joshua Kimmich. Had an unbelievable game, by the way. And uh, and once it did, I mean, we had 25 minutes to respond. We didn't create a chance. You know, it only ever looked like we were going to go 2-0 down. Um, it's We've run out of gas. We've run out of gas again. And, you know, we're done. We've run out of gas and we're done, yeah? Cool. Cool. Listen here, you feel that booty. Man thinks he's somebody because you're on TikTok. Yeah, making videos for eight year old supporters, nine year old supporters. You know what I'm saying? Who's this guy, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? Who is this guy, bro? Do you know what I mean? Feel that puta talking rubbish. You've been twerking and explaining to us about how Arteta's intricate and how the bench can do this job and how it's amazing and how there's an agenda against Arsenal. The amount of videos you feel that puta that you made about pundits against Arsenal. People are not flipping back in Arsenal. Listen here, you B Tech Piers Morgan. That yeah, back your process, back your manager, back your process back in the in the Premier League. Look at the second half against Villa, against Bayern. It's going to be the same against Wolves. Um, so if Wolves can survive the first half, they'll probably take points off us. Genuinely, it's it is what it is. The core group of players that we've had to rely on throughout the season are shattered, and that is where Arsenal are at the moment. That is where the lack of depth of the squad comes in. I mean, look. Oh, now we're going to be bringing up the things that you called other people toxic and negative for. Now you want to be talking the same thing that we're saying. Oh, now the coast is clear now, yeah? Now we can talk about the bench not being good enough. Now we can talk about the fact that this manager looks lost. Now we can talk about how one-dimensional some of these players are. Now we can talk about you can't play the same lineup every single game in every competition. Now you want to talk about it. I think you're being toxic and negative, yeah? You're being toxic and negative, toxic and negative. You're being toxic and negative, yeah? What happened to North London forever? What happened to, you're not allowed to say any of this. You're not allowed, right? Because we've been saying it all season and we're negative. So what are you talking about now? What is this filo da puta, this B-Tech flipping Sheldon da merda from Big Bang Theory talking about now? Yeah? Don't bring up the same concerns that we had. That's being negative. Get behind the boys. The players are going to see this. It's going to affect them mentally. You're, you're, a real fan always backs the club. A real fan always gets behind the players, you fill that puta. Get behind your process, bro. Get behind your process. Don't start saying what we're saying now, yeah, that we're in the mud. Don't even try it. Yeah? Access denied for you, Maricas da Merda. Access denied. Stay over there with Saucy Santana Robbie, yeah, and Sonic Cecil. Stay over there, bro. Don't even try coming over here. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. To the left. To the left like Beyonce, you fill that puta. Don't even try it. Questioning the team. I thought that's toxic and negative. This sentence alone tells you where Arsenal are at. We brought on Eddie and Ketia in the final five minutes to try and get a win away at Bayern Munich to get to a Champions League semi-final. We brought on Eddie and Ketia. That's where the club's at. Wait, but you man was celebrating when we signed Eddie and Ketia. You man said he can do a job. You man were getting all gas when Eddie and Ketia scored goals for us. Yeah? When we're trying to get top four against Spurs. You man were gas. The rest of us that criticised it were toxic in the... What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, you can see where the clubs are because we're bringing in Ketia. Right, the player that you guys were defending. The player that you guys said you were happy to keep him under contract. The player that you were happy to give the number 14 to. But now, look at where the clubs are. Oh, you didn't see that when the club already gave him the contract. How come you didn't speak up, bro? How come you didn't speak up? There's a handful of us that were speaking up about it. Me, Lee Gunner, Dan Potts, a couple of us. Arsenal man. You weren't in that group. Where were you? Where were you? Absolute fraud. These men think we're stupid or something, that we don't remember the crap that they say, bro. Talking rubbish, bro. Yeah? 
Get behind Eddie, bro. What happened to the TikTok songs? I know you're a TikTok twerker. You know what I'm saying? You love a little, you love a little TikTok, innit? You know what I'm saying? You love a little TikTok to be doing all my single ladies. Stop doing Brazilian tunes. You don't even understand Portuguese. Doing Brazilian tunes, shaking your ass. Yeah? You and Dow doing Brazilian tunes. You absolute chichi boys. Doing Brazilian songs, you know? Doing the dancing like the girls in the carnival on TikTok for views. Flipping hell. Set this filo da puta flipping only fans, bro. I'm telling you, this fan base, bro. Only fans, bro. The only fan section of the fan base, bro. Uh, and we still need to, you know, improve. We still need to grow out that squad. Um, but credit to Bayern Munich. Um, that's it. It's over. Oh, it's over. Get behind the team. You're being toxic. In it. Look how far Mikel Arteta has brought this team. Look at what he's done with the squad. It takes time. You're saying it's up. I can't believe it. I can't believe What a flip-flop. What a toxic fan. What a f I can't believe you're an Arsenal fan. You know what? F off down to Spurs. You're calling it, the season's over. You don't believe? But Robbie told us to believe. Robbie told us to believe. Fouad said that this fan base has got a problem with, oh, we just concede it every year to, to, to Man City. What kind of fan are you? You got a fan, oh, what's going on? I thought only the real fans support the club even when everything's done. What's going on? What's going on? I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I feel like you're sounding like a real toxic and negative fan right now. You wanted more for the club. You criticising the club. That's not allowed. Accountability. Accountability at Arsenal. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, this is Arsenal. There's no accountability here. No accountability, bro. Do what you want. Sit. You can sit on... The, listen, the players, yeah, they need your support. They need your support, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? They need your support. You absolute clown. You absolute clown, bro. Look at this fully that puta that's been twerking all season. This next one, this flipping kidney bean head dowd has been twerking the hardest. We're going to do the treble. Everybody else is in the mud. Champions League is finished. Excited that we're drawing Bayern Munich. Look at this clown now. Arsenal nil. Finished 3 to Bayern Munich. Arsenal out. Bayern Munich are through to the Champions League semi final. No complaints. The better team went through. We couldn't even beat them once in two legs. Couldn't even beat them once. That second half was pathetic. Let me remind you one more time. Bayern did not have Alfonso Davis, Kinsley Coleman, Serge Gnabry, and they had a half injured Leroy Sané. He was injured! And he still performed better than our front four. My but how though? I thought they washed. But they're finished though. They're finished. They're the Champions League Burnley. They're finished and washed. We don't respect them. Bayern Munich is not the same Bayern Munich of old. That's what you told me, though. But they got injuries. And, and, and what's going on? Please elaborate, kidney bean head. Please allow, elaborate to me, Mr. Rice and Peas head. Please tell me, bro. I want to know what's going on inside that flipping watermelon head. Let me know what's going on. Because man's head's looking like Postman Pat now. Yeah? And finally... You got the message. It ain't as good as you've been hyping it up to be, you absolute fraud. Inelli, Odegaard, Saka, Havertz. That was pathetic today. That was pathetic tonight. The biggest stage, turn up, they weren't missing. I've been backing you, Saka, all season. Backing you all season. A right back playing left back today, Masrawi. And you couldn't even get past him once. Gabriel Martinelli. But hold on, I thought Saka's world class. I thought Saka's world class, yeah? This is Dowd right there, yeah? East African postman Pat. That's him right there, bro. Look at his face, look at his head, bro. Looks oblong like a flipping kidney bean. Look at his head, yeah? Talking absolute rubbish, bro. Absolute rubbish, yeah? I thought, I thought Saka's world class. I thought Saka's world class. How is he getting pocketed by a right back? Playing, le playing left back. Let me know, bro. Let me know, Postman Pat. Let me know, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? There, there he is. There he is. There with Win. There, there's Dowd. There with Win. You know what I mean? Come on, Win. Come on, Win. You know what I mean? We've got to make some more TikToks. Come on, Win. You know what I'm saying? Feel that puta talking rubbish. I've been back in your season. Past three months, you've been pathetic. Performance, you've been pathetic. Couldn't even get past Kimmich once. And Kai Havertz. 60 million pounds. We need to get a refund. We need to get a refund. 
Him up front, we got so gassed. Kai Havertz, 60 million down the drain. Kai Havertz scores again. We ain't winning nothing with Kai Havertz up front. Wow! We're not winning anything with Kai Havertz. Wait up. Wait a minute. You man told me he was misunderstood. You man told me when he went on a little purple patch, yeah? At the end of the year, you man told me, what's everybody saying about Kai Havertz now? Kai Havertz is delivering. Kai Havertz is a player that Mikel Arteta is going to get the most out of. Really? What's going on? Yeah? I thought Mikel Arteta is good at working with players, even though we haven't seen Mikel Arteta develop Nuno Tavaj. We haven't seen Mikel Arteta develop Fabi Vieira. We haven't seen Mikel Arteta develop Reese Nelson. We haven't seen Mikel Arteta develop Jesus and his scoring ability. But apparently, with this guy, he's going to develop him. He's going to develop him, yeah? Based on what? Based on what? Are we going to develop him? Yeah? We can't have us. Arteta is the guy to unlock him. Now, what? Now you're telling me that, nah, it's done. Now you're telling me, nah. Nah, nah, nah. It's, it's, it's you know, Kai Havertz. We're not going to win nothing with Kai Havertz. Guess who told you that? Guess who told you that from the start of the season, you filo da puta? Guess who told you that, you marica da merda? Guess who told you that? Fuyel, caralho. Fuyel. Eu só queria me foder a cabeça. Mas eu te avisei. Eu te avisei, mas não querias ouvir. É sempre a mesma porcaria. Hold that. Hold that, you absolute clown. Not one trophy. End of the day, better team won. My real opinion on Ateta, it's going to happen at the end of the season. We'll see what happens at the end of the season. Two points behind City with six games left. Ateta in cup competitions is pathetic. FA Cup out early. League Cup, League Cup out early. Europa League season before, I went out spotting Lisbon. Going out to a Bayern Munich team, got no players. So many players injured. Ateta in cup competitions is pathetic. I'm going to have my real opinion on him at the end of the season. Oh, you're going to wait to the end of the season to give us your real opinion. Okay. But when I was live with you, you told us that you don't use TikTok to give out your real opinion. You give out your real opinion on YouTube, which basically means you're disingenuous on TikTok and you're lying and doing whatever is the most clickbaity thing to do, which is twerk for this football club. So will you be giving us your real opinion on YouTube since you've admitted live while I've been live with you that you don't give your real opinion on TikTok? Is that when you're going to give your real opinion? And is that also you conceding once again that you don't give your real opinion? Everything you do is for clout. You don't give your real opinion. Okay. Okay. Okay, Postman Pat. Okay, no worries, man. No worries. Listen, we'll be there. Don't worry. I'll be clipping you up. Don't worry about that. Don't go anywhere. We'll be clipping you up. We will be clipping you up. But you know what? Postman Pat is, is so disgraceful. Trust me, that's not the only thing he's doing, yeah? This filo da puta, after the game, Arsenal lost. He's more interested in getting clout from Madrid fans now. Look at this, look at this, look at this filo da puta now. After backing the Arsenal process, after telling us we need to get behind Arsenal, we're going to do the treble. Look at what he's doing after Arsenal gets kicked out of the Champions League by Bayern. Come on, Rudiger. Knock these weasels out. Knock them out. Come on, Rudiger. Knock them out. City are going out. I promise you that. City are going out. Rudiger. Yes! Come on! Come on! Come on! City are out! Where's the treble? Where's the treble? Champions League heritage. We're winning the Champions League this year. You top gooners, this is your boy, yeah? This is your boy. While me, Lee, Jez, yeah? All of us are doing emergency streams after Arsenal get relegated, uh, relegated, get knocked out of the Champions League to Bayern Munich. We're doing late streams. Me, Jez, Lee, all of us on Lee's channel yesterday went live. After we did our match reactions, we went live till 4 a.m., yeah? We went live. This is what your, this is what you guys, yeah? You top gooners, the ones of you that are top gooners, this is the guy that you guys back. While we're in pain, he's celebrating Real Madrid getting through. Top gooner, man. Proper Arsenal, yeah? Proper Arsenal fan. Northside? Northside's negative. Northside's negative. This guy went and threw a Real Madrid shirt, probably recorded the game, played it back and said, I need to do a TikTok. I need to do a TikTok, bro. Because how are you doing a TikTok already knowing that the team's going to win? So you're playing it back. 
This is what these men are doing. And these are the guys that are deemed as the proper fans, nice people, yeah? These fake imposters on YouTube twerking for this club, talking absolute rubbish. They're the disingenuous one. They're the ones that don't give a crap, bro. Does he look bothered that Arsenal got, got uh, uh, knocked out the Champions League by Bayern? He doesn't care. Man's ready on to the next thing. What else can I get Can I get clout for? Yeah? He's busy supporting Real Madrid. These are the men you, want, you men want to stand behind. <laughs> Top Gooners right now, all you guys, all the channels that you man big up, yeah? All your content creators are looking like Diddy, bro. They're all looking like Epstein. You know what I'm saying? They're all looking like Epstein Island right now. All them man that you... But listen, there's still time. You don't have to keep doing nonsense, bro. You know, once you know better, do better. Look at your boy. Look at him. He's supposed to be an Arsenal fan. Look at him. Look at him. Yeah? Instead, uh, the, the game, you don't even care that we lost. You don't even care that we lost. Straight away, you're on putting your Real Madrid shirt to do to make clout, bro. A man, a man want to talk to me that I'm too harsh and I cuss him out. I cuss him out because he's a clown, bro. I cuss him out because he's a clown. Yeah? Absolute clown. And I'll continue to cuss him out until he stops trying to make a mockery of the club that I love. The club that's caused me a lot of hurt, but I still have love for this club. But these are the men that are propped up on social media. Man like this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah? Yeah, it's crazy. We are winning the Champions League for the 15th time. Pep Guardiola, you can't do back-to-back -back trebles. This is football heritage. This is not 115 charges. Come on! We are doing it. We. I thought you are an Arsenal fan. We are doing this. Okay. We are doing this. That's what my man's saying, yeah? Let's talk about football heritage. Did you not um, take into account football heritage when you said that Arsenal are going to do the treble? When we've never even won in Europe, but you think the, the, the day that we're going to win in Europe, is good, we're going to do a treble. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, bro. And this is why this channel was created. This channel was created because there's not enough people speaking out, calling these guys out. Big up to my guy, Lee. He does an incredible job, yeah? But there's loads of us fans, yeah, that have had enough of these fake imposters making money, yeah, to perpetuate loser mentality pretending to be real Arsenal fans when they're not Arsenal fans. They're not Arsenal fans, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? This is what this guy's doing. This is your saviour, yeah? This is your J. Cole. This is you, you top gooners. Dowd is your J. Cole, bro. That's your J. Cole. Man's acting like he's on it. He ain't on nothing. He's an absolute fraud, a clown, a pretender. There you go. Yeah? And this is why I clip people up. Because if I said this happened, people would say, you're making it up. But well, there's your evidence. There's your evidence, Your Honor. There's your evidence. Crazy. Crazy. Don't worry, though. Get behind the process. Get behind the boys. You know what I'm saying? Not allowed to call it out. Not allowed to speak on it. Just get behind it. You know what I'm saying? Just get behind it. It's crazy, man. And these people are perpetuated as real fans. These are the ones that top gooners get behind. These are the ones that... <laughs> my days. If I speak, I'm in big, big trouble. Big trouble. Let's go. B, you know what I mean? It's, the build-up play was too slow. We weren't brave enough, I felt in attack you yeah. know i mean everything was just little short passes trying to do some little build-up play we have no plan b did i not say this saucy santana did i not say that we don't have a plan b but every every match reaction you've been doing lately is we have to believe we're doing this yeah now you're there cell and margin boo have come to planet earth yeah and now you're looking like mr popo you're shaking you're begging Goku to save you. He ain't going to save you. He ain't going to save you. Yeah? Mr. Popo talking absolute bukaria, bro. Yeah? When this man has been spewing believe, get behind the team. They can do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah? Cool. Believe then, isn't it? Believe. Believe in your manager. 
You know what I mean? Play a few balls over yep. the top. You know what I mean? Try and get in behind a couple of times. Try and mix it up and do something different. It was too many little short passes, short passes, slow build up. Mm. By that time, they've sussed that out. You know what I mean? They're, they're dealing with... Like hey, Super Mikateta! He knows exactly what we need. Gabby in attack. Zini at the back. We're on the way to bottle Champions League. What, what's going on? What's going on? You man told me to believe. What's going on? What? What? It's getting rocky now and you man are questioning it. Oh, but, I w but I'm not allowed to question it. Any fan that questions it, you're a negative fan. You're a toxic fan. What's going on? What's going on? I thought you told me to believe. What's going on, Mr. Popo? You need to get into that time chamber, bro. You need to start trying to... Bro, you got to turn Super Saiyan... You got to turn Super Saiyan free, bro. You better start training, bro. What's going on, Popo? What's going on, Mr. Popo? Huh? What's going on now? What's going on, Biggie Smalls? Bro, do you know what I'm saying? What's going on? <laughs> Joker, bro. With that. Yes, they're dealing say, with that yeah. you've got to try and do something different and 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 that's what disappointed me with Arsenal and and, and is that the inexperience of both the manager and the players showing in well, that they're not trying something different they're not brave enough I feel in the forward play yeah. it, it was everything was very safe predictable yeah and, and predictable, it was yeah. predictable really predictable but don't worry man North London forever, forever and ever, you clowns, you absolute clowns, you man deserve this bro, you man absolutely deserve this, absolutely deserve this, anytime anyone has anything to say, constructive criticism about this, you man don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it, so cool, you must feel now, but like Cecil said earlier on, Nobody around me and Julian are angry. So, Robbie, are you putting this on? You look disappointed, but Cecil said that nobody around him was angry. So, are you just doing it for the cameras? What's going on? I thought nobody's angry. Nobody's disappointed. Everybody's chilled. So, what's going on, Ro what's going on Robbie? You playing up to the cameras? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. What's going on? I don't know, bro. We need to do a CSI investigation on these foolish I don't know. A man pretending. <laughs> Wow, wow. And people call me, people like me were doing it for views. Wow, wow, wow. But I stick to my guns. Crazy. Incredible, right? You are competing now with yeah. Bayern Munich. That was the thing we were told yeah. that we moved to the Emirates to try and do. We're actually... Took a bit of time, but we're here. It's taken yeah. a very long time, <laughs> but, we're here. but we're actually competing yeah. with teams like Bayern Munich. Still not turning them over, though. And I think a bit of a plan B. Oh, oh. So now the new narrative is... When the ownership said that we're, we're moving to the Emirates to compete with Bayern Munich, we're actually competing. Bro, this is the worst team. Yeah? Don't tell me we're competing with Bayern Munich. Leverkusen have just won their first league title in their history. That's competing with Bayern Munich. That's how finished Bayern Munich are at this moment in time. And man is saying that we're competing with Bayern Munich. Really? We're competing with Bayern Munich. We're not competing with anyone, bro. And at the time we said that we're competing with Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich was an elite team. At the time, they're still an elite club. They're an elite team. Right now, they're nowhere near favourites to win the competition. And we can't even beat them. Yeah? So let's use what you foolish that puta use. Context. The context is, this team, nobody's got them winning the Champions League. They're going to get defeated by Real Madrid. They're bums. And we can't beat them. So don't be disingenuous saying, oh, but people said that, the ownership said that we're, we're here to compete with Bayern Munich. Yeah, when they were great. Right now, they're not that team. They're not that club right now. That they were back then. So don't try and gaslight it. Don't try and chat rubbish. Yeah. They're not that team. So cool. But it is what it is, man. It is ways. You already know with these guys, bro. You can't call it out. You can't say nothing. Everything's about everything's amazing and this and that. Bro, I'm sick and tired of it, bro. Let me get through some of you. Let me get through the super chats first, man. Because last stream I got through it late. Big up to everyone dropping a super chat. Big up to all of you lot that's locked in. The bench was fixed, according to most fans. Yeah, the bench was fixed. You remember that? The bench was fixed, bro. They can do a job. They can do a job. These men are clowns, bro. AFTV Julian looks like Dr. Evil's cousin from Austin Powers. <laughs> oh, my days. I'm telling you, this is, what, this is what Julian looks like, bro. This is what Julian looks like. Where is he? Where is he? Austin Powers mini me. You know what I'm saying? There he is there, bro. 
There's Julian there. Hold on. Let me get the image so you man can see, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's Julian. There he is. Here, little Julie, Julie, Julie. Here, little Julian. There he is. Do you know what I'm saying? There he is, little Julian. You know what I'm saying? That little rat. You know what I'm saying? Actually, he's not a rat. Where the rat army? That little cockroach. You know what I'm saying? There he is there. There he is, little Julian, standing up on the stool. Robbie, is that all right, Robbie? All right, lights, camera, action, Robbie. Yeah, lights, camera, action, you fraud. Yeah, you absolute fraud. Done with these guys, bro. Absolute idiots, bro. Absolute idiots. Absolute idiots, bro. What's going on, family? Forward. Hey, listen, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, because I'm telling you right now, you're, you're, you're soon to be a, a thumbnail as well. Don't think I forgot all the crap you've been talking. Yeah? During the season, yeah? You're the next one, bro. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, yeah? Don't go anywhere. Because trust me, I remember all the crap you spoke. So don't worry about that. You're, you're, you're in for a cooking real soon. Don't think you get away with it. Don't think you was going to get getting out of it. Man's messaging me on WhatsApp about, remember I told you about it? Nah, I remember when you was gassing up this process and this, and this manager. You're getting cooked. Don't worry about that. Your cooking's coming real soon. Don't worry about that. Yeah, deep fried. Oh my God, they're both smiling and laughing. Bro, they don't care. Bro, they, they don't care. They're getting paid. They don't care, bro. They don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? A gal's already got the new buzzword of it's an upwards curve. It's an upwards trajectory. That's how we're going to, we're, 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 at least I'm seeing progression. You know what I'm saying? Northside, the hyperbolic time chamber, go ascend, uh, ascended saying, Mr. Pope. <laughs> Oh, my days. Yo, Strasbourg, I'm jumping on now, bro. I'm jumping on now. Familia, I'm redirecting to my live Benfica uh, in the Europa League, Benfica versus Marseille. And we're also doing Liverpool versus Atlanta. So if you're here for Liverpool tears, make sure you're liking and subscribing. I'm redirecting right now. Don't go anywhere. Press the link. We're going to end the stream now. And we're going straight over to that watch along right now on my channel. Make sure you come join me. We're going to do the watch along Benfica. Versus Marseille. And as if you don't know, Benfica has been trashed this season. So I'm expecting Benfica to lose and drop out of the Europa League. So I guess for you lot that enjoy seeing me stressed, stay. You know what I'm saying? We're going over now, redirecting to my next next link, the watch along right now with me, Strasbourg, Steve and Francisco for the Benfica watch along. Let's go.